More people keep getting added to the board with the White Knight Eyes adding a lot more of their stronger forces as Asta and Leo. They've got a situation on their hands. Not only dealing with pretty much all the high elites of the group, but now we've got to see what happened with Fagolion and he's a little bit lighter now because that dude is missing a fucking arm. He is bleeding out and they're down Noel. She's trying to resuscitate him, trying to keep him alive. But yeah, Ass is worn out. Leo has had the shit kicked out of them. It's not looking good though on Aster's side of the front here and especially he's like we've got a guy that can just teleport everybody here in a heartbeat. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'd definitely say Aster's gonna need some reinforcements very soon or just try and survive as long as possible. The first half of the episode like I felt like dragged a little bit that was mainly the everything that was focusing on uh like well, what we got to see with like charmy and then also as well with you know and it was sweet i won't go like i did like that little kind of moment where it was like she was there freaking out about her food and she uh the lady was there like give me your youth she's so shiny and she's just immediately like, you get to see this bit it's like okay look this is why the black bulls are actually a good fighting force because like no let's see what charmy does and it's just just it's just Beats the living shit out of this bitch. It was like, this wasn't even a competition. She literally just got this giant fucking ram and just punched the bitch straight out. And it's like, well, there we go. Sort out my food. And then I can't, like, the weird thing is like, oh my god, you you know, somehow Bashojoing his way to fucking making, like, Charmy, like, really attracted. It's like, oh my god, like, he grabbed my food. He also as well as very handsome. It's like, oh god, this is such... I guess Aster's got fucking, like, Mimosa and also as well Noel. So I guess, fuck it, you know, can have some more, other, like, people, like, yearning over him. It's just such a weird character. And it's like, he doesn't know. He's just like... I, and besides, he didn't ha really have any time because he's like, I was being attacked. I'm under the curse's power. I am completely drained of everything. And he just collapses pretty much in front of her. And it's like... Well, that took care of that problem. Yeah, no, there we go. And then, I, I will say, like, if anything, I did like the content, and I definitely remember it in the manga, but it felt, it did feel, like, really dragged out. It was like, okay, this, I feel like that scene could have been, like, if anything, five minutes or something, or even just, like, four, or, like, not dragging on that long, I felt. But then again, it's like, they really, you can tell, it's not as bad as what the anime used to be, where it was like, we are doing one chapter, or even half that, and that's that, like, the 20 minutes, but you can tell they are trying to keep to the two to three, like, chapter mark at some point, and it's like, especially with, like, Black Clover chapters, and even as well, I mentioned it in, like, the last, like, episode, like, chapter review, I was like, this, yeah, the, the chapter felt a little bit, like, not too much can be done with this chapter, where it's like, okay, a lot of it was, like, dedicated to this, so kind of stretch it out as much as you can for the most part, and I thought, I, you kind of have to accept that at some points, but it's like if like if the point of the epi like episode was like the biggest chunk of it was kind of a joke and also as well seeing Xiaomi, I thought like yeah it was fine, but it wasn't that really engaging compared to some of the other material that we've seen like throughout there. Even as well with the second half, Aras, you get to see like he has a buddy with him who is immediately was hiding in the corpses and his whole specialization was ripping off his face and you guys see like he's also a spatial user and he's like i i'm gonna teleport radis out there because he like it's a weird thing where it's like we can actually still find use to this guy and immediately as you think like oh ass is running really slow he isn't gonna catch up he throws that sword in there and making sure he can't get out of there is like, no, fuck you. You're not going to see this another day. And Asa just starts beating him down with his bare fists if he has to. He's like, oh my god. Like, Jesus Christ, this guy's like going in. And like, a weird thing you see is that the curse is actually getting to him more and more. Where it's like, he won't stop bleeding. And he, he has the weird idea where it's like, he grabs his swords. One on the cheek, one in his rib cage, Slashes them both and all that to stop. He stopped the bleeding by making them bleed more. Yeah, like you think about that concept, but it's like no, he stopped the magical power. It, it sounds stupid when you say it like that, but it's like all right, yes, he did kind of use his head for a little bit there, but even still, that means we're taking some damage. And like even Radis was like, what the fuck? I wouldn't do that shit and all that. That hurts. I ain't taking no damage. 
And I just liked it at the end, like, overall, it's like, yeah, no, we've got the only people that are lasting this, and you can you see, like, um, especially, I, I liked a lot of, like, the current material I'm really looking forward to, because, like, this is Asta and Leo versus all of these people, like, Radis is weak at that point, you've got one guy that can teleport all of these people in, you can see a little bit of the group, you can see one girl there with the glasses, I don't want to say too much about her, but I like her, like, she's, she's a weirdo, she's a fucking weirdo, if anything, when that character, you get to see a little bit more of her, but, you just like, you look at all these fucking people, and it's like, Asta's down, Noel's busy with Fagolion, Leo's there, he's weak, and it's like, look at these guys, and like, I like how the next episode's called Wounded Beast, and you'll see why, like, Asta's gonna go in, like, He's, he's going to take a few of them like, with him and all that. So I'm definitely looking forward to that one uh, when that definitely that episode comes out next week. And I think we should be getting like, a new opening in like a week or two. So that would be nice as well and all that. I definitely would like to see what they got up. Obviously, it's because they should, uh, showed a really nice new visual of like the next arc to come and all that. And a lot more of the characters that you'll be seeing. But over, yeah, overall, I think like the first half was the weakest part of the episode. Like I felt like it dragged on a little bit too much. I, don't, I feel like there's nothing wrong with the content. Obviously, we're going from like when I was talking about the manga as well, I was like, you know, I enjoyed that stuff, but it's just like, it's like, how much it can just go on, it can drag a bit, that's just really all, and I felt like that was the episode where I was like, this episode could have probably done a lot more if there was maybe just, an, they had additional chapters that like, they could work through, but I'm very curious to see what you guys think of the question down below, but that's all for me, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys though, next time.